<sighs> I feel like I got nothing done today. I am so mad at myself. Have you ever been there? It's such an awful feeling. You see that it's 10 at night and you feel like you got nothing done. The worst part is, is that when that happens, we didn't actually get nothing done. It's just what we tell ourselves. Maybe we didn't get to the one thing that we wanted to get to that day. Welcome to Time Management Week. It really is important to always work on bettering your time management skills. Studies suggest that there are many benefits of time management. You can gain control over your time. There's so much that we don't have control over in this life. But we can work towards having more control over our precious time. And this can certainly relieve a bit of anxiety. You will have improved self-confidence by being more organized and overall greater satisfaction. You will be less stressed out and be better able to handle tight deadlines. And we know there are many of those out there. You will certainly be more productive and efficient. Most important, you will be able to have more control over the times that you have fun. You can have more control over the things you enjoy doing and have more flexibility. And guess what? Life becomes a little bit easier. As I said, sometimes we go through the day feeling like we were so busy but can't even think of what we did. I challenge you today to use a planner or an electronic calendar, I use Google, to notice how you spend your time. The thing about Google Calendar is that it's kind of fun because when you put in certain activities, I know this sounds a little childlike, but when you put in certain activities, you see little pictures come up. Like for a bike ride, you can see a bike comes up. Or drink, there's a picture of a drink that comes up. Put in coffee with a friend, a coffee cup comes up. It's the little things in life. But it is fun. It actually does motivate me to put in some activities in my phone sometimes. So just for one day, track everything, even the trivial things. An example is... 6 a.m. yoga, 7.45 shower, breakfast, get ready, 9 business meeting at this building for this. Track exactly what it is. And then 11.30 lunch, you don't need to track what you eat. You can, but you don't have to. Um, 12.30 to 5.30 work, 6 o'clock dinner, 7.15 laundry, get organized for the next day. 8.30, movie with significant other, a friend, family, 10 o'clock, read, and then bed. If this is something that you don't usually do, I challenge you to do so. If you already have your day completely planned out and you track even the trivial things, I challenge you to incorporate 10 minutes into your schedule to rest. So actually put in 10 minutes somewhere on your schedule that says me time and just relax. This is important because often we don't notice exactly how much we get done throughout the day because in our minds we can potentially lump the entire day into one thought when it's simply not the reality. This way you have proof as to everything that you did during the day and it can help you create more time in your schedule when you realize exactly how you're spending your time and discover different ways to prioritize tasks. I hope you have a fantastic day, sending positive vibes your way from the Purposeful Challenger.